Today is June 27th. June 27th. No, 24th. Today's June 24th. And it's an update on my garden. So my corn is pretty good. And they're starting to produce whatever these are going to be tassels. And I had corn earworm in this one right here. And I started cutting back and I got it and got rid of it. I killed it. it does some damage, but it's alright. And this one right here had corn earworm too because I saw the same kind of damage. But I can't find an earworm, so I'm guessing a predator took it out. Because I don't want them to become adults and have more eggs and infect my other corn. So I want to kill it, but I don't see it anymore. So not all corn made it through. Some of them just became weak and died. I don't know what the problem was. And a lot of the beans, I did the three sisters method. A lot of the beans, they just died. Up and died. Here's the squash plant. And as you can see, bean plant here. I don't know, they don't look so good. I'm just leaving those for now to cover the ground so the sun doesn't just bake it. And I have purslane growing here. Purslane has a lot of omega 3s. Very nutritious. So I'm growing that and I'm going to eat that later. More purslane there. My tomatoes are doing fine. These fruits set when the weather was cooler. But now that the weather is hot, I don't know if they're going to set. As you can see, during the hot time, they dropped all the flowers. And a couple of set right here. So I don't know if they're going to keep dropping flowers until the end of summer. Ooh. That's my head. What are you doing here? Oh, what's this? Oh, I think that's a spider hiding there. What else is this show? Let's see. So this here are my peaches. I don't know if they're gonna make it. A lot of problems with them this year. Aphid infestation. I haven't seen aphid infestation on this tree for three years. And this year is just crazy. So I keep cutting off the growing tips because that's where the aphids get infest the peach tree. And I got some uh, like rust or something on the leaves. And if I don't get to the aphids in time, they start dropping the dew and lands on the fruit and starts throwing mold on it, so I have to cut those off. So I'll see what happens, but this year looks like it's not going to be a good year for peaches. And the thing about the dandelions, I want to eat dandelion greens, but here, <laughs> whatever dandelions grow to a certain size, they start getting powdery mildew. It's crazy. And this is lamb's quarter. I want to eat these too, but what are all these yellow, yellow specks? Something is doing that. I think it's thrips, but I'm not sure. And it does a lot of damage. Oh, what was that? I just saw something jump, an insect. See that? That looks like a thrip.
And I bought this insect trap from Costco. It's like $35. And this works real good. Catches a lot of thrips. I mean, every day probably catches a thousand thrips. Oh, I better turn on. The sun's just going down. It has LED light and it uses um, ultraviolet. I bought two, and this one I just pulled out yesterday. Because I wanted to test out before I actually brought it out. Because I have another one set up right over here. Dibu, move. Over here. And here the LED light is already weak. I mean, if you see the two of these side by side, you'll see this one, the LED, LED light's very weak. And I've been using it for a month. So it's this one that going back to Costco for uh, exchange. Because once the light goes out, you can't get spare parts for it. I mean, when it goes out, you have to throw it out. I mean, I, I don't like things that's disposable. I want this to last at least six, ten years, you know? I mean, how hard is it to make something last six to ten years? Come on. They're just making it last one year so they can keep selling me crap. But Costco, good thing they take things back even after a year. Because in the US it's got two year warranty, right? I don't know about in Korea. But if it goes down out within the two years, I'm taking it back to Costco. And I don't know what this is. I think this is mugwort. I'm not sure. Tastes very bitter now. When it's, when it's younger, the leaves were broader and tasted better. But now it's not edible. Our eight plants here. My peanuts. And these are my peppers. And some black beans. Down at the edge. Imagine pear. They're not growing at all. I wonder if they're stunted now. I mean, I transplanted this into the ground like just a couple of weeks ago, so maybe they're in shock and they're not doing anything. And I'll see what happens. Because the one that's way over there, it's doing fine. I mean, it's not doing, I mean, it's doing fine. I mean, the root, the leaves have rust. So we'll see if the fruit matures into something I can eat. Jujube tree, my big wind. Last night, this jujube tree is leaning now. To prop it up before it blows over in a typhoon this summer. And my Napa cabbage. A lot of them are dying. I don't know if it's because the weather was so hot that they're dying. There's a dead one there. This one's dying. But for some reason, this one's doing all right. No, uh -oh. predator. I mean, there's a beetle right there. That's not good. And this one's doing fine. This one's sort of dead. This one's definitely dying. So, 
I think these two are the genetically strongest, maybe, for hot weather. I'm gonna make them go to seed and plant them next year. And these are more pepper plants. Ooh, this one's flowering. And more black beans. Peanuts. And tomatoes. So what else is there? This year I'm not really getting that much production because of the odd weather and all the aphid infestation. And here's my ant trap. So that is boric acid with some powder sugar and water. So I don't know how long I should leave it here. There's still a lot of ants moving around. How long before the colony dies off? Are they avoiding it now? Still some climbing in and out. So why isn't the colony dying? It looks like they're moving the colony because Look right there. Is that moving the larva? That's to protect it from the rain. Got an inch last night. Finding some rain. So I guess that's it for this update. Tubu! 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 Mom, what are you eating? Tubu! Tubu! Uh, Tubu! What are you eating? Kamogoya, what is that? Tubu, you come here. Very bad. What the hell is this? Just my compost pile. My compost dog manure. Eggshells and stuff. Oh shit, look at that. All those mosquitoes. In the water. Laying eggs. And if they lay their eggs, I'm gonna dump the water and let it dry out. Kill them all. Kill them all. I'm a serial killer. Okay, that's the up for an update this year. This year? No. This week. This month. I don't remember now. Alright, bye.